state's largest school district has a board that essentially vacated. And Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson set to announce a new school board today. Uh, welcome in Illinois in Focus Daily. I'm Greg Bishop. Chicago Public Schools uh, facing uh, some tumult as uh, board members resigned Friday. Uh, and it's pretty shocking. Uh, and quick turnaround, you've got Johnson going to announce new board members. Uh, we'll see what we can find out from the uh, from the mayor when he holds a news conference later on this morning at 1030. But uh, the news broke that you had a whole bunch of board members resign. Uh, Chicago Alderman uh, sharing this on uh, X, uh, saying that 36 members of the 50 member city council have just released a statement voicing deep concern with the resignation of the entire school board and what it can mean for the city's future and education system. Now, some of the things to consider here are that uh, you have uh, a lot of debt that the city is having to struggle with when it comes to the school district. You've got a, a, a ongoing contract negotiations between the Chicago Teachers Union and the city uh, in trying to get a new contract. Uh, but you also have, uh, apparently, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson's administration wanting to get rid of the Chicago Public School CEO uh, who has refused calls to, to step down uh, over management of a variety of things. Uh, so uh, you've got this statement here from the CPS um, uh, about the CPS board resignations from uh, a vast majority of the uh, Chicago City Council. And it says the past Friday, all seven sitting members of the Chicago School Board resigned. These vacancies, which will now be replaced with direct appointments from the mayor, will be tasked with overseeing the CPS budget, CEO Martinez's employment, and the ongoing negotiations with the Chicago Teachers Union. This is unprecedented and brings further instability to the school districts. Uh, taking out a $300 million high interest payday loan is not smart with CPS uh, already facing a massive deficit and the city uh, almost $1 billion deficit uh, with uh, federal COVID relief funds having recently expired for CPS. Uh, it's crucial that CPS leaders keep the interests of taxpayers and our children top of mind as the new members of the school board uh, who are announced uh, you know, their resignation, understanding that uh, the reality of the situation uh, by passing a budget that did not include this loan. Uh, this is an extreme cause for concern now that uh, these voices have been dismantled. Uh, so again, just some of the um, uh, statements from uh, the, the vast majority of the Chicago uh, City Council. Uh, but uh, not the only one making statements, of course. Uh, Ann Williams, who is a state representative who actually helped spearhead the new law to allow for direct election of school board members. Uh, she also released a statement that uh, we'll pull this up on X where she posted it, uh, saying, like many, I was shocked to learn about yesterday's resignation of all the members of the Chicago School Board amid significant disagreement with Mayor Johnson as to fiscal policy and leadership. This inserts a level of uncertainty and instability in our schools that is extremely concerning during a time when the, direct, the district is already facing so many challenges. This spring, she sponsored a bill that implements the elected school board as negotiations uh, as negotiated in 2021, which provides a phased in elected board with 10 of 21 members elected this November before transitioning to a fully elected board in 2026. Uh, so she goes on to talk about uh, Chicago students deserve high quality education and the resources to succeed, uh, but uh, major decisions which have significant impacts on the future of the Chicago public schools should not be made until the new school board's in place. Will that be the case? Or will Johnson, uh, in his announcement today, select board members uh, who are going to comply with what he wants as Johnson's a former CTU uh, member and uh, really had the CTU and the union uh, back his his election. Uh, so a lot of questions as to how this is all going to play out. But what's uh, the, the Chicago mayor posting on X? Uh, let's take a look at that. This is just a, one of the most recent messages he posted. Uh, first time ever in Las Vegas, and I was excited to spend my morning in churches all along the city stumping for Kamala Harris and Coach Walls. Uh, my message was simple. The black church is the soul of the country, and we must show up, turn out our sister Kamala Harris. Uh, so, you know, looking at his posts here, I mean, this is his, his political page. Don't really see uh, much else when it comes to the announcement of the Chicago School Board resigning. Uh 
take that for what it is, I guess. So we'll hear what the uh, the mayor has to say today uh, as he uh, prepares to hold a news conference to appoint uh, board members to the state's largest public school. Uh, pretty incredible stuff. Uh, it is Illinois in Focus Daily, something else we'll keep an eye on here uh, as we continue to update you uh, each and every weekday morning. I'm Greg Bishop. Thank you so much for being with us. It is Illinois in Focus Daily. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join us each and every weekday morning for Illinois in Focus Daily.